Alright, hey guys, this is Kohaku doing a Magus OTT deck profile. Uh, with the new support that came out of GBT05, uh, the deck has been revamped, so we'll start with the starter. So it's Semi-Lunar Magus. She is, put her into your soul when she boosts. If you, um, if you have a Magus as a Vanguard, you can declare the top card of your deck. Reveal it if it's the revealed card. Put her in the soul, draw two. So, it can help you get some hand advantage, get those that card that you don't want, say, like, not a trigger from the top of your deck. Uh, just help with triggers and such. I really enjoy her art as well. She's very pretty. So, for triggers, I run four Triangle Magus. Yes, I run the draw trigger. A lot of people have said that, oh, Magus, or OTT doesn't need draws. 12 crit, 12 crit. Well, Magus is one of the few OTT decks that really doesn't have the draw power as most decks do. Uh, so, I also run Pentagonal, so I like to have Magus uh, damage so that I can counter blast it. And the more Magus, the more you can do. The only non-Magus is Psychic Bird, but anyways. Draw triggers. Yeah, there are 5k shields. So what? They help you get hand advantage during whatever. If you hit it as a damage, oh look, you have another card to guard with. Oh, yeah, there's a trigger. Oh, look, you have another card to do anything with. I just find draws in this deck really good. Even before this one came out, I was playing draw triggers. Magus, I've always played draws. So then I play for Psychic Bird, of course, kind of just a standard crit trigger to run in any OTT deck. He's the put in soul draw a card. <laughs> really nice. I play for Paisley Magus. The crit from GB01 for Magus is when it's placed. Uh, if you have Magus Van, look at the top card of your deck, put it on the top to bottom. So if you really need to know what the top card is, you now have her and circle. Or, yeah, circle, I think. And she's really just a good tech because, and she's a Magus, so. I'd like to run Sphere Magus, but I have Lazen's Magus as my heal trigger. Uh, standard heal for OTT, also just a Magus, so she can also be the starter if I ever wanted it to be. You can uh, boost with her. And she gets an extra 3k, so she's a 6k, and she can return to the deck, so returning heals, always a good thing. Alright, so for ones, I play for Tetra Magus. She is the perfect guard, perfect guards are just standard, you want to run just Magus, and I really enjoy the art of this perfect guard, it's really nice, and it's Magus, so it makes really good sense. Uh, then I run two Cone Magus. She is one of the newer cards. She's when she's placed. Vanguard or Rearguard. You can reveal the top card of the deck. If it's correct, you can counter charge too. I only run two because normally I'm not really counter blasting that much. I mean, I have Stellar Magus and, he and Pentagonal. But pe those... I, uh, I'm not really good at guessing. So Stellar sometimes goes off, sometimes doesn't. And then Mag... And then... Pentagonals, just like a last turn thing. I run three Octagon Magus. She is one of the newer Magus as well. She's when she's placed on Guard Circle. You can reveal the top card of your deck if you have a Magus Vanguard. If you can guess it correctly, she becomes a 15k shield. So she gets plus 10k shield. It's really good when you're fighting stuff that's just like really overpowered and high numbered and you just don't want to waste a lot of cards from your hand. She can be really good tech when you're using uh, Globe Magus, the new stride, because uh, before you end your turn you can look at the top card of your deck and just see what you need for her. So yeah, she's a pretty good tech to have in there and she's a 7k if you want a booster. I run three Circle Magus, uh, Beyond Place, Rearguard or Vanguard, uh, just look at the top card of your deck. That's it. She's good because, you know, being a fortune teller and seeing whatever. And then I run two Rippus Magus. She is the 10k attacker for Magus because, hey, it's an archetype. 
If you can get extra attacks in with just the 10k, it's alright with me. Twos. I run four Stellar Magus, one of the stars in the deck. I really enjoy art. And she has the ability for on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle. You can, when it attacks, you can uh, declare what the top card is. If it's correct, uh, draw it. If not, unflip the damage. So it's pretty much a win-win. You can just take a random guess. Oh, and when you're guessing the top card of your deck, you don't have to guess, oh, what's going to be Stellar Magus? Oh, what's going to be Pentagon? Just say that it's going to be Harmonix Messiah. Takami Kazuchi, Globe Magus. If you just want to know what the top card of your deck is, their strides are not going to be there, so you have no chance of drawing it in case you really need to know what that card is. But if you want to be able to draw, you'd normally just say what a card in your deck is. So, Rhombus Magus, Stellar, Lozenge, in case you just want to have cards in your hand. But yeah, she's always good for that, and she's a uh, double R from one of the EBs, so she's a really important card for the deck. Uh, run 4 Rhombus Magus, she's the new grade 2 from 5. It's when she attacks Vanguard, if you have a Magus, uh, this is a regard only effect. If you have a Magus Vanguard, you can declare the name of the top card, if it's correct, gets plus 5. So you can, she can become a 14 attacker, if you can be psychic and know what the top card of your deck is. <laughs> I guess what this whole deck is. Then I run 3 Cure Magus. Uh, she is the 12k attacker. Yes, I do not run Tom. Tom is a clutch card for OTT. Or, crutch card, not clutch, sorry. You don't need to run it in every deck. I don't run it in Magus, I don't run it in Battle Sisters. Uh, I find that running the actual archetype as it should does pretty well. Came in second with this deck so far and it's doing pretty well without toms, without 12 crit. You don't need 12 crit or tom in this deck, it's pretty good. I run 4 hexagonal for 3s. She is the break ride, so when the break 4, when you uh, ride something on top of her, look at the top 3 cards, put one in hand, and put the others back on top in any order. Helps you know what the top cards are. Say that one of them's not a trigger, you can put that one on top. You stellar, you something to draw it, just get it out of the way so you can perform drive checks correctly. Uh, anything else that you need to know the numbers. She also has um, the plus two if you have four more cards in hand. Once you attack, or any time. So yeah, just break right, she's hexagonal, she's just one of the best cards that they have. And then I have... Four Pentagonal. Uh, it's the Destiny of Fortune in your favor. She's Limit Break 5, or Limit Break 4, sorry. She's the star of the deck. I know a lot of people lately haven't been running her because of the new common grade 3 that came out. Uh, she is Limit Break 4. When she attacks the van, declare the top card of your deck. If it's correct, you get 5k and a crit. Uh, so that's pretty much my nice game ender there is you break ride, give her a bunch of power because her secondary ability is counter blast 2 magus uh, get plus 5 until end of turn so you just do it a bunch and you can just get however much power you want um, she's really good to just put that last push in there with that double crit and plus since you probably over broke road you they two pass you, you probably already know if you're going to get a two pass or not, and most like, a lot of times it is a two pass. If not, you can just put it on the rear guard, and hopefully they can just not get over that, but yeah, it's a really good pressure card. I like her a lot more than, uh, whatever that other two or three is that came out, but yep. I really enjoy the new Magus support. It made the deck super more fun to play because now it can compete with a lot of new stuff and it's just really a fun deck to play oh yeah forgot strides uh, I play for the one who views the planet globe magus if you have a magus heart you can look at the top card of your deck at any time during your turn 
Uh, oh, they two pass you. Uh, let's do one drive check. Let's look at what the next top, what the next card of the deck is. Uh, uh it's a trigger sure. Power band. Oh, it's not, uh, could go for that third card not knowing what it is yet, or I could just put it on the rear guard. Yeah. Um, one thing is that with Lazen's Magus, she is something that goes back into the deck at end of turn. But, She's at the beginning of the end of your turn, so you can still put her back in a deck, shuffle, 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 and still before you end your turn and unstride, you can look at the top card of your deck for that last peak if you have an octagon magus, if you just want to know if you want to take the next damage, such and such. So that's a little tidbit for that little extra deck play I run. Two Sword Deity Thunderbreak Takami Kazuchi because you got to play them seven syllable names. He is the Persona Flip from the first GB set. He is Counter Blast 2, Persona Flip. Um, look at the top four cards of your deck. Put two in hand, put two on bottom. Any order. He just helps get hand advantage and such and such. And then I run two of uh, Dragon Destroyer Battle Deity. Uh, Kami, Kami Susano. This is the new stride from GB5. He is uh, Susano's new persona stride. So he's once per turn, you can persona him. And he gets the ability auto when he hits. You can look at the top two cards of your deck and put one in hand, put one on bottom. And then if you're GB3, so if he's pretty much your second stride, you can give all of you, all units get plus 2k. So your vanguard and all your rearguards. That's pretty good. It's pretty much just Kieran on a bigger stride. It's really nice. But yeah, Pentagon or Gold Magus is really fun. She allows you to just mess with everything. Uh, a lot of times I can forget what the top card of my deck is, even though I know what it is, so it's like, she's really saved me from a lot of positions when I'm just like, oh wait, did I want a Stellar? Oh yeah, I did, so let's do that. Or you can hold off your starter and make sh and see if you want to do that. Just a really fun thing to do and such and such. But, yeah, so that's the Magus build. See y'all later.